Cher's parents, Francie and Charlie Emmerich, worked as medical missionaries. My parents met in their first week of their first year at college. And they were inseparable for 70 years. They both were diagnosed with six months or fewer to live. What were their diagnoses? What my father had Parkinson's and my mom had cancer. My mom told their physician that they both wanted to use Death with Dignity, which fortunately was available. Yeah. It's fascinating and rather wonderful that they could go together. Absolutely. And six days before they died, we brought our families together for a celebration of my parents' life and goodbye. It's like being at your own funeral, which is what a lot of people would love to do. Yeah. We just spent hours talking, telling stories, and it was a real gift. Yeah. In the US, if you have less than six months to live, doctors can prescribe the lethal drugs, but you then take them yourself without needing a medic to be there. This self-administered method is what I've been campaigning for in the UK. There were 100 pills for each, and each capsule had to be dropped into the mug with water and stirred. Just know that you're on your own journeys now, but you're going to meet up over there. Exactly. OK, yeah. So and, and even those journeys, <laughs> we get to go together. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. When it was time, and they had set 10 o'clock to drink their medicine, we went into the bedroom, and we just sat in silence and love and just held this space for them as they drifted to sleep. My mom passed in 15 minutes, and my dad passed about 45 minutes later. But they both went to sleep within a few minutes? Within a few minutes, yeah. Yeah, and died holding hands. That's a wonderful story. It's incredible. Your dad was a doctor. Did he feel in any way that this contradicted the do no harm Hippocratic Oath? On the contrary. He believed this was compassionate medicine. Once medicine is introduced to our bodies, there isn't a natural death. My parents were already dying. Yeah. And they were dying with medicine. Danny, I was a hospice chaplain. I understand you're a fairly conservative Christian, are you not? Yeah. Would you fall in the category that your faith would not allow you to make this decision for yourself? It's not really my faith that makes me take the position I've got. I'm, as I say, I, I just think on practical grounds. I can't imagine how we could design a law that is safe. I'm very much in favour of allowing people just to slip away rather than artificially prolong life. Um, but I think there is a big difference between that and actually actively taking somebody's life, which is what we're talking about here. Well, what I'm talking about here isn't a doctor taking someone's life. I'm talking about the person choosing to take, their, to own take their own life. How do you feel about the fact that suicide is legal? I think it has to be, yes. I mean, that's, that's, okay. that's quite so right. OK, so that's fascinating that it's OK for somebody to kill themselves alone, mm. but not with the comfort of a loved one. And again, we're talking about people who are already dying. <laughs> 